feedback for your fun now Now you put on your toes, take off your gloves This off for me, you're not about to help you know She wanna run for the truth, no fish if it's up once Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be taking you guys along with me for my little birthday glam. I already had got my brows done yesterday. She did a good job, but it's been a minute. Then I did my nails, a little early 2000s vibe. Um, I can still braid with this shape and do hair with this shape. That's why I did this shape. But square, these were the eight. Damn. Uh, but low key, this is my new shape now, so I'm feeling it. And then we did the blue chrome with like the little... 90s or 2000s design with some gold accents I feel like that's me and i love the way they make my hands look super cute and feminine still classy i feel like yeah anyways and then so for my hair uh i'm just so indecisive i'm gonna go to the beauty supply and see what my my body is telling me because so one minute i'm like because i've been trying to get another job guys i'll talk about that later but one minute i'm like okay i'm gonna just do like a curly you know natural look but I got this jean outfit, y'all will see. But I feel like I should do like the early 2000s vibe that I wanted to do. So then maybe I was like, okay, I could just deposit some red in here. I have like a red depositing color and Loki do my roots. Cause I just can't with the roots. Like literally, especially in my photos, what the freak? So I was gonna do like bone straight with like twisties on the slide, on the side, fat, flat twisties. Sorry y'all, I'm at the bank. <laughs> um, but I'm like, if I could do the straight hair, I would do synthetic. And y'all know how straight synthetic hair be getting. <laughs> or I was like, or maybe I could do like short red curly synthetic, right? With twisties on the side. I don't know. Like, I feel like I just always have to be so extra and go all out for my hair. And then when something doesn't go as planned, it just throws me off. And like, I've been struggling trying to figure out a hairstyle because... These jobs that I've been trying to get, all of them have been... Can y'all believe Disney told me that I cannot have red hair? Like, what the freak? I mean, now my hair is pink. Y'all probably confused. It was red. Yeah, I actually had red weave in, but I took it out, obviously. I wanted to get my hair break. But I'm not going to lie, guys. After my birthday, it's giving... She's getting cut off. And I'm going to go back brown. <laughs> I know I always say this, but like, I have not been feeling my hair. And I know I could be styling it cute short, but like, bitch be busy. I don't have time. So, anyways, I'll get back to y'all when I figure it out. Probably at the beauty supply. Y'all, if the quality is not the best, sorry, I'm recording my phone. So, I just came out of the beauty supply. I will do a haul when I get home. But, they have these cute um, toe rings. I've been looking for some for so long. I had got this bomb one from this beauty supply in Hawthorne, but they don't have them anymore cute these are i think i most like these two though i like the simple ones if this would have been so cute if they didn't have that love on it this one's okay this one just like girl that's for a finger i'm probably gonna get a few and then give the other ones to my little sister hey guys so i'm back home about to eat my little spaghetti um but i wanted to show you guys what i had gotten from the beauty supply so i got some lashes I just picked up some random ones. I haven't worn lashes in so long. Usually I get my lashes done, but I was trying to get my lashes a break and then I actually have my appointment scheduled for like the day before my birthday or the two days before my birthday. My birthday is actually getting second guys, but I'm just, I wanted to take a photo shoot beforehand. You know, anyways. And then I also got some, some gold diamond studs. But for those of you who always ask me, this is the color I use for the red. This is like the best red for me. Like I love, I'm very specific with my reds. Um, I mean, I've used Matrix, Redken, you name it. Okay, and this to me is my favorite red. And then I got a 40. The only reason why I'm using a 40 is because my ends are already bleached. So they're going to grab the color immediately. So I'm probably not even going to put the color on my ends, mainly just on my roots. And then um, I'll probably just deposit color in here because I have like depositing colored shampoo. I mean conditioner. And so I got 40 to lift my roots a little higher because usually you get to like a, the deep red that I like. But because my hair is bleached, <clears throat> there's no pigment in there. So it really grabs the red and the red just looks too bright for me. And I don't really like that. So 
Like I love the red that my roots lift to. I don't like the red that this gets to. But I'd rather them be one solid color, if that makes sense. So yeah. Anyways, okay. So I think I fucked up. So the hairstyle I had in mind at first was bone straight with like flat twist on the side, you know, early 2000s vibe. But they didn't have the straight that I wanted. So I grabbed, I grabbed three packs. So three packs. First of all, okay, perfect example. So this is what my ends lift to, like this super fake looking red, right? It's so cute, but like it's giving fake. And then this is what my roots will lift to, like a deeper red. Those are two very different colors, like if y'all can see. But I'm gonna mix them so that I get some dimension in there. And then the other third pack is the darker one. So I was supposed to be getting bone straight, but they didn't have red straight. So I just grabbed those and I'm like, damn, I should have just went to another beauty supply. Because I'm like, ugh, now I feel like I don't know what hairstyle to do because I feel like I always get the curly, you know, down situation. So I'm still trying to brainstorm on what hairstyle I really want to do, but I'll keep y'all posted. Y'all will definitely see. Also, I'm going to show you guys my toe rings. Um, I did my toes too. They look so cute. These are how my toes turn out. Like, oh my god. Yeah. Anyways. But, okay, let's zoom out, please. Anyways, yeah, but I will come back to y'all when I figure out my hair. So I have to brainstorm. So give me a second. Hey, guys. So we are now located at my beautiful suite. I know the last thing I updated y'all was me showing you guys my beauty supply haul. So I'm basically, I'm basically about to do my hair. Low-key still have not really decided on which hairstyle I wanna do. Um, and then I'm gonna do my makeup. And then I'm gonna set up the beauty, the beauty supply what? And then I'm gonna set up the photo shoot. For the photo shoot. Um, let me show you guys my outfit. So this is the outfit that I will be wearing. It's like a denim skirt with the top, matching top, super cute. So I'm really going for like that Y2K 2000 situation with like major gold accents, if that makes sense. So. Yeah. Anyways, but first off, you guys ready for the big reveal? My hair looks crazy. Yeah, mm -hmm. we gotta definitely handle this. So I'm about to dye my hair first, and then we're gonna do my quick weave. Hold on, let me figure out exactly what style I'm gonna do first, cause I ain't got time to be. Yeah, no. So I think I'm gonna do, I mean, while I'm looking, I'm gonna do my hair, dye my hair first, cause I ain't got all day. Do all this. Okay, so I'm gonna just time lapse the parts. And then when I wanna come back and talk, I'll come back and talk, okay? hairstyles girls get on the reusable glove tip first of all better for the environment and your nails don't poke through <sighs> just saying so i 
have officially decided I'm gonna do a flip over quickly. I feel like it'll eat me down. Um, I was gonna do my makeup or my hair processes, but uh, I have to flip my head over while I wash my hair out and it's gonna drip and I ain't got time to be messing up my makeup. So just wait till after. But yeah, we're probably what I'm gonna process. It's been on here since 1240 so I'm gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes and so that means I'm gonna probably rinse it out of like uh, maybe like 110 but yeah the red is already eating so I'm a, I've been applying to jobs my skin looks so bad my cycle is coming up black. but I've been applying to jobs and they're telling me that I'm gonna have to dye my hair black or a natural color whatever which we'll deal with that when we get there. Right now, I haven't been hired yet. So I'm like, girl, I'm not going to inconvenience myself in that way when I ain't even hired yet. You know? And as a hairstylist, we all show our personality through our hair. Am I lying? Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, anyways. Y'all, I'm literally too obsessed with my nails. Like, uh, what was said, it's really me to toast for me though, honey. But, y'all, yeah. these pictures are gotta eat. So, let me show y'all actually the setup. So, my suite looks kind of messy right now. Give you guys a mini tour, you know you already seen. So, here's the bowl. This is what you see when you're at the bowl. I put my cameras up too. Oh my God, guys, I got harassed by this male client. Let me know if y'all want a story time on that. But anyways, here's the bowl, here's all my junk. And I'm basically gonna take my photo shoot like right here in the middle. Like right behind me. I'm gonna move the chair out of the way. And like, I'm gonna like set it up right here. The lighting is pretty good in here too, so I'm like, it'll just work out, you know? But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna just come back after my hair is rinsed and y'all are gonna see. Y'all probably gonna just time lapse my hair and then come back. Or do you guys want like a mini tutorial? <gasps> that would be so cute. A mini tutorial, meaning I'll give you guys little tips and tricks. Probably do like a voiceover of the time lapse instead of talking through because I feel like it takes up way much, so much more time when I'm actually talking in the video. So I'll probably just do like a voiceover, but. Hey guys, so I decided on doing the voiceover. Uh, I'm really gonna just be explaining like what I'm doing. So right here, I'm blow drying my hair. As you guys see that my hair did not lift even. The roots were a little dark, but I feel like because they're both red, it kind of it doesn't look that bad, you know? And I'm gonna have minimal weave out. So like I was saying before, I had three packs of the organic um, long wavy hair. And one of the colors is strawberry. It's basically the lighter fake looking red. And then the other two are 130. That's the color that I usually get. And they're all 30 inches. So right here, I'm really just parting out my leave out. I usually do like a about an inch around the entire perimeter if you plan on putting your hair up. But because my hair is pretty short, girl, if I put it up in a ponytail, the back is just going to stick out. So I'm like, I'm not putting it up anyways. So I'm just, my hair was too short to be trying to grip. I didn't have time for that. So I just put it in four fat ponytails and so then as you see i put the cap on and then i'm just literally just started gluing away i know some people will be like why didn't you use protective shield i don't use protective shield i feel like it is way easier to come out versus when i do i don't know it's so hard for me but um here we have a better angle so i really just glue the tracks in a u shape all the way until i get towards like the top closer toward like the hairline and then i leave about an inch yeah and don't be don't be scared about the bulkiness if you don't do a braid down girl them tracks will cover it especially if you have like curly hair but i make sure that i press really tight when i am gluing the tracks now so this is what i was talking about i left about an inch of space while trying to glue the tracks down and you literally just go back and forth you just glue it left and right left and right and then you just make sure that you they're all like about an inch width 
and this will help you get that seamless flip over vibe. Y'all see what I'm talking about. Hey guys, this is how my hair came out. Super cute. Let me spin you around. You can see. And I'm about to stir on my makeup. This is what the hair is given. So freaking cute. So I did a flip over so I can flip it left, right, or to the middle. It's 30 inches. So cute. I'm really, excuse me, I'm really feeling the like, I'm really feeling the like wavy vibe. So I was going to put some like mousse in it, but I'm going to leave it how it is. Probably like later on today, if it gets crusty, I'll put mousse in it. But as of right now, cute. So I'm going to start on my makeup and then I'll come back when I'm done. I am time lapsing. So, yeah. I closed out my video but <clears throat> I just want to let you guys know that I think that that will be the end of this video um I hope you guys enjoyed just wanted to do a little pre birthday vibes you know with me showing you guys behind the scenes of my birthday photo shoot that I do every year and um I'm totally thinking about taking clients so if anybody is interested in the LA area of getting their pictures taken by moi let me know and we can definitely set that up and i'll plan it and everything the theme and all so yeah but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one bye